Barry Blaukoff. Welcome to my studio. Lately, I've been out in some very fine late summer gardens, picking a great selection of flowers for this class. Where I live in Montreal, Canada, we have cold weather about six months of the year. So the first flowers that appear in the spring are the highlight of my year. It's so exciting for me when the snowdrops poke their heads out of the spring snow, followed by the crocuses. It's always a little bit miraculous when spring arrives. I'll throw on a parka, grab a portable stool, and get out into the garden to paint. Later on, when the bleeding hearts start to bloom, I'll cut them and bring them inside so I can capture their delicate beauty. Cutting flowers for little bouquets or sitting in my garden to sketch continues right up until the last blooms fade in autumn. And when it's cold outside and there's no color in my winter landscape, I buy flowers at the grocery store to help get me to spring. And even though we'll be working in studio for this course, I have fresh flowers in front of me and I'll be sketching from life. I encourage you to do the same. You won't have the full experience if you paint flowers from a photo. You'll want to turn the bouquet to get the best angle, appreciate the subtleties of color in the flowers, and enjoy their fragrance as you paint. So what will I show you in this course? We'll start by looking at the colors I use for painting flowers, and I'll show you how I create vibrant hues by letting pigments mix right on the paper. From there, we'll draw and then paint a variety of late summer blooms, starting small, and working towards a more complex bouquet. I'll show you techniques for painting masses of flowers, how to use the most saturated colors to achieve vibrant results. And finally, we'll talk about framing your composition and thinking about lights and darks before you put brush to paper. In our final sketch, we'll tackle the challenges of painting light flowers against a darker background, how to use stems and leaves to connect blooms, and how to simplify the complex shapes inside a glass vase. For this course, I'll give you lots of reference photos of the flowers in front of me so you can watch and paint along, or paint at your own pace after watching the course, hopefully with some of your own cut flowers. I hope to share with you my love of painting fresh flowers in watercolor with the wettest brush and brightest colors. Let's get started.